I'm at Sagawa Nursery in Woodland, Washington with Doug, and what better place to be and talk about fountains, standalone fountains, than to be with you. So you have this beautiful container here, and yep. what a beautiful piece to show yeah. off with a bubbler. Uh, it's basically what they call a goldfish bowl, and a beautiful design Look at on this. it, beautiful inside. It's pretty. Um, very decorative, can do fish, plants, and a water fountain in there, which uh, we're going to be doing today. Well, I just love it, and I just love it. Just keeps the Asian theme with like a little yep. bamboo yep. piece. And we actually there's a we have a lot of different styles of, of, of very simplistic bamboo pieces that you can use for this. The nice thing with these guys, they actually come with their own little pump. Nice, so easy to set up. I like yep. that. And tubing comes with it at all. Um, a real quick setup. All you have to do is fill it up. Put Very it on the bowl nice. and you're ready to go. And you have a couple other styles. Let's yep. talk about those. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we also do have a lot of ceramic pieces out here um, that are actually glazed on the inside. So you Very don't nice. no prep is necessary. You can make this a real quick, real easy water garden bowl or a small fountain. Um, no problem at all whatsoever. Uh, we fill these guys up and just put a few water plants in it and leave it still. It's beautiful. Um, and you get some water plants going in there. It's very nice. I like this theme of easy. Yeah, yeah it's very easy, going. very simplistic. <laughs> and then here we got a little bit bigger piece. Um, we've got a column stone in the center here, um, sealed bowl. Um, so you don't have to worry about sealing the bowl at all whatsoever. And we're going to be setting that up. Well, you know, it's so easy. We're going to show you in this little segment, we're just going to take a little bit of time and fill some water up, put some pumps in, and yep. let's go. Yep. Okay, Doug, this is the moment of truth. Yeah, we got it. Oh, how very easy. simple. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yep, and very nice, very light. Not it's a lot of beautiful. noise to it at all. It's a very subtle noise, too. Um, so it's not going to drown out if you're having a conversation. You no, got it on the porch or the courtyard somewhere. Yep. It's beautiful. Yep. I would even get a little, couple of goldfish for there. It'd be you can so definitely nice. do a couple of little goldfish in there. Uh, no problem at all whatsoever. And actually, a few water plants in there Very would be nice. fine. Uh, you could do some submerged grasses down in the bottom and oh. a couple of floaters on the top. Very uh, nice. And would look great in there, too. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's plug in yours. Yep. I love that stone. That is just so pretty. And here we go with this one. Ah, that's gorgeous. Yep. And again, the same thing we can do here. You, if you wanted to, you could do a couple of goldfish in there. And we have Man, also brought over this beautiful marsh marigold over here that you can pop in also. Beautiful. Um, great blooming on it, too. That's um, nice. The micro cat tail would be another great backdrop, or the uh, dwarf papyrus would be good, too. Beautiful. Now, yep. there's a shutoff that you had when you were yep. making this. Now, what is that for? That's mainly so that if it's too much or too much noise and you want to turn it down a little bit, all you got to do is adjust it down a little bit. Oh, very easy. Okay. And then I also noticed you had like some little shims. Yeah, we used, uh, they're a rubberized shim. They're just basically a little shoehorn, a little wedge. Perfect, so. It makes any time if it's uneven or not quite level or it's not sitting the way you want it, you can just put it in there to kind of level it out. That makes it so much easier. Yeah. Now, now, right now this water is crystal clear, but oh, yeah. just in case you have some you know, chemicals that yep. we can use. Yeah, I brought two chemicals over. This is Fontec. Um, okay. It's a basic algicide used in containers. Mainly used in situations where we don't have fish in there. Okay. Um, and so if we don't have any fish or any plants in there, great to keep it clean and clear. Okay. Okay, I'll hold that. And then that. the second product I brought over is the uh, Protec. And what the Protec does is if you've got really hard water and you get that whitish scale that builds up on mm -hmm. your stuff sure. outside, this will help prevent it from happening to the pot. Ah, uh, great. Yep. Because that's going to happen eventually. Correct, most certainly. And then also, once we get into mosquito time. Mosquito season, definitely. We have yep. a couple different things we could talk about them. The mosquito dunks, I uh, both have it in pellet and dunk form. Okay. Uh, both work the same way. You put it in the pot and it will kill the mosquito larva in the water. All right. Well, Not harmful to your pets or to the water plants or anything. Well, excellent. Yep. Well, you know, if you need any other information, please send to Sagawa's. Talk to Doug and his staff and you'll really be set up for summer. Yep. Well, thank you so much. Great. Thanks for coming.